Hello, I'm Joachim and I'm from Germany. And you may know the problem in Fallout 3 where the tilde key or swung dash key does not work. So usually I want to change a few settings when I loaded a safe game so I have a better graphics than you usually get. And that setting isn't permanently stored so I have to set it every time. So I hit the tilt key but it does not work. Nothing happens and the console doesn't open. But there's a fix for that. A, a temporary and a permanent. And permanent is what you're interested in, I guess. So you open your workplace, right click on this PC or my PC or whatever it is called in your language. Click on manage. Say yes to that stupid thing here. And then you go into the device manager. And the culprit for that problem is this Microsoft eHome infrared transceiver. It, it's in, sometimes a part of a laptop, sometimes a part of the main board. In my case, it's part of my um, of my Win TV card, which I'm using for recording TV stuff. And it's up there too. But this one is the problem. Now you can uninstall it, but that is only a temporary fix until the next reboot. And there's also no option to disable that thing. But there is a permanent workaround for that. That is right click on it. Click on update the driver. And instead of automatic, you click on search on this computer. Then you click on show the list of the, devi of the devices which are available on the computer. You untick compatible hardware, which is quite important, else you'll see nothing useful. And it will stay at Microsoft usually and where it was last. You scroll a bit around. In that case, you use the HID confirm user control device, which is simply that thing translated to English. It's just a dummy driver. Whatever you take, you can take whatever you want, but that one does work. You click next. Then it will warn, yeah, the driver is not the right one. You say yes, it will install the driver. You can close it then. And you, it will leave that one where you just have been marked. Don't choose another one. Then you choose right click, deactivate. That's the option we wanted. We can deactivate it now. And he warns, yes, you want to deactivate. Yes, of course we want to deactivate it. And then we finally can uh, can open the console in Fallout, in Skyrim, in Oblivion, in Fallout New Vegas, and all the other nice games we are all love to play. And just to show that it is actually working, loading up the same save game as before, go to the usual place, and the setting I want to usually want to change is the fog. So set fog. 4000 4500 and suddenly you can see much further in that case it is the problem because i set a low resolution you can see the left part of the console but that doesn't matter in that case it's just for showing this and you can see now you can see much further another setting set fog 6000 Five, oh, 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 and then you can see much further without that stupid fog. And another setting sometimes I love to change is the field of view. For example, so I can actually see pretty far away with full details if you if you hacked your ini the right way. It depends on that, of course. And that's it. That's how you can permanently reactivate your tilt key in Fallout 3, in Oblivion and all those nice games. Have fun repeating it.